I love heavy bass sounds and I produce hybrid bass music that often includes them, as well as such genres as drum and bass, dubstep or grime. I don't use samples much and I find it more interesting to synthesize these bass lines and leads myself using FM synthesis. In Ableton Live there is a great FM synthesizer called Operator and in this video I will reveal how I create these narrow sounds with it without having to use any third-party plugins. I dragged the operator to a MIDI track and firstly I tuned the oscillator A to a lowest octave. I choose the waveform for it. Let's go with square 16. Then I choose the waveform for the oscillator B. Let's try the SO D and raise its level. Getting back to the first oscillator and adjusting the envelope to have a bit longer attack and release. Right clicking on the second oscillator's envelope and copying it from the first one. If I play notes an octave lower, it already sounds like this. Now I adjust the envelope again a little bit. And again, I want A and B to be the same, so I copy the envelope again. Now I tune oscillator C higher and level it up. Choosing another saw waveform for it, and keeping the envelope the same as A and B have. That's how it sounds now. For oscillator D I will use a white noise. Raising its level too and adjusting the envelope so it would appear slowly. If I click the filter panel, then on the screen I can find a shaper and choose the type of it. In my case, the more distorted sound is better, so I'll go with the hard one. Adjusting the filter frequency and the noise oscillator level again. Now the most interesting part. Here I can try different algorithms and depending on which one I choose, my oscillators are interacting with each other in different ways. They can modulate each other or sound parallel or combine both in various combinations. I just listen to different algorithms and choose the one I like the most. Now adding some drive to the shaper and resonance to my filter. Playing a little bit with oscillator's levels. I can detune them a little bit using the fine knobs. Just a little bit is enough here, I think. I can also adjust the envelope for the filter. Now let's turn on the pitch panel. I'm trying out different envelopes for pitch randomly. Just listen how it works. I want it to work slowly at the start and then pitch down a bit more roughly at the end. Now choosing the octave for it to go down to. Dragging the B oscillator volume a little bit up and adjusting how hard I want the pitch envelope to modulate my sound. Honestly, I can change the parameters back and forth many times until I'm satisfied with the sound. 
I can also add some color to the filter by changing its type. Maybe add some drive to it. The spread knob creates some nice stereo effect. But if you're using it for the bass, then I'd just recommend not to use it on the sub bass. Now let's play with the LFO panel. If I raise the amount, I can hear better how it works. The sync option will synchronize its speed with the BPM of the project. Adjusting the envelope of the LFO, I can make it start working a bit later, only if I press a note for longer. It's also interesting to try different waveforms for the LFO. I can choose which oscillators will be modulated by the LFO separately. And I can activate it on the filter as well. Getting back to the LFO waveforms, I would choose the noise one. Let's check how it sounds in stereo now. Another parameter that I often use in the end is the time. It allows me to change the envelope of the mix of my oscillators. It's a cool place to add automation on. Now I'm curious again, how will it sound using other algorithms? Pretty fat. Sometimes just a slight change of one parameter changes the sounding a lot. I like this lead sound I got here. So I just used everything that I showed you, and that's the raw piece of music I got. All synths are made with the operator, and the only thing I have on top is OTT compressor, processing the operator's group to kind of glue all these sounds together. Check out what I've got! enjoyed this tutorial and subscribe to my channel to not miss my next video. I'm wishing you best of luck with your heavy sounds. Take care!